Vietnam is finally out in my bucket list. This wonderful journey started off here in Davao City. Via Manila in Naia, we took the 10 o'clock p.m. to Saigon. And of course, I'm with my travel buddies, Shai and JJ. Hi! Yes, we just arrived here at Ho Chi Minh. So it's Philippine time, it's 1.30 a.m. So there's a one hour time difference. Wait, there's no jet lag. So let's call it a day. On day one, we visited Ho Chi Minh City proper. And as we have noticed, there are lots and lots of motorcycles, motorcycles, motorcycles everywhere. Hi, we're here at the Central Post Ave! Our first stop is a beautifully preserved remnant of French colonial times and perhaps the grandest post office in all of Southeast Asia. Located right across the central post office is our second destination, the Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica of Saigon, also known as the Cathedral Basilica of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, which was built in the late 1880s by a French colonists. In the afternoon, we took a two-hour bus trip to Kuchi Tunnels via tour we booked at our hotel. Before reaching Kuchi Tunnels, we stumbled upon this souvenir shop that uses eggshells in their designs. After a short land travel, we finally arrived at Kuchi Tunnels. The tunnel network of Kuchi became legendary during the 1960s, especially the Vietnam War. Um, kind of claustrophobic, pero... Uh, oh. And yes, we experienced Kuchi Tunnel and believe me, that this is really not for claustrophobic tourists. So if you're claustrophobic, this is not advisable for you. Thank you. So bye, I'm gonna go. When on travel, food is really a must. In Vietnam, we enjoyed almost everything. Truly a gastronomic feast after a tiring day of exploration. Day 2 is all about the Mekong Delta Tour or a tour at Vietnam's agricultural south via the Mekong River. Mekong River is the 12th longest river in the world and 7th longest in Asia.
Our first stop is the bee farm. So we're trying the honey, the honey tea, yes, at this bee farm with very interactive guests. Of course, the bees themselves. Oh my this god. This is the best! Do you want your master? You want your master? You want your master? I think we're good. <laughs> Yeah, so we are starting our row, row, row your boat gently down the stream version here in Macon River. Yes, and it's a matter of balancing and look! There's so many obstacles, like it's an obstacle course. So we're still here at Macon River and this is part of our Macon Delta Tour. We're also enjoying some fruits while listening to the traditional Vietnamese music. Our fourth stop is the Coconut Candy Making Factory. Aside from coconut candy, they also sell weird stuffs here. Oh my gosh. Water! <laughs> Yes, there's a liquid from a king cobra and a lizard. We started day 3 with a visit at the War Remnants Museum. It is also known as the Museum of American War Crimes, first opened to the public in 1975. It offers a shocking reminder of the long and brutal Vietnam War with many graphic photographs and American military equipment on display. Next up is the Independence Palace or also known as the Reunification Palace. It was designed by Paris-trained Vietnamese architect Ngo Viet Thu, an outstanding example of 1960s architecture with an airy and open atmosphere. Aside from food, your travel won't be complete without shopping. And shopping is best done here at Saigon Square. Ending our day three is a Saigon River cruise that gives a beautiful and breathtaking view of Vietnam at night. Aside from sightseeing, we also tried some cool stuff here in Vietnam, just like their own version of Sepak Takraw. Vietnam is really rich in culture and diversity, and literally, I'll be leaving this country with a heavy heart. It's so heavy! How many kilos is this? Uh, 40 kilos. 